Hi, Terry here from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is this cute card. I've used the Counting Sheep stamp set together with the Coordinating Sheep dies and I've created an Action Wobble card. So let's get started. These are all the measurements you need for all the elements required to create this project. So if you're interested in reproducing it, take a screenshot so you can refer to it later. My front panel is in normal weight, basic white card. For the grass, I'm going to use Pear Pizzazz ink and for the sky, I'm using Balmy Blue ink and I'm applying the ink using blending brushes. For my original card, I kept the grass and the sky 50-50 on the front panel, but this time I'm making the grass smaller. I've picked up the ink with my blending brush and now I'm going to apply it with a very light hand onto the bottom of my front panel. I want the colour to remain quite light. Once I'm happy with the coverage, I can clean off my work area and then set up again ready to colour the sky. So I'm picking up the balmy blue ink, taking off the excess and then applying it onto my panel again with a light hand. Here is the Counting Sheep stamp set together with the Coordinating Sheep dies. Now each of these items is available for free during our celebration promotion which ends on the 30th of September 2021. Now you can choose one free item for each £45 that you spend. So you would need to order £90 worth of product to get both of these items for free. Now today I'm just going to use this sheep and the grass and this sentiment together with some of the dies from the sheep die set. I'm going to start by using the little grass stamp and Pear Pizzazz ink again and just randomly stamping over the bottom part of my front panel. Both the sheep and the sentiment will be stamped using smoky slate ink and I'm just stamping on a scrap of normal weight basic white card. I'm using the light smoky slate stamping blends alcohol marker to colour in the hooves, the ears and the face of my sheep. The sheep will be die cut using one of the outline dies in the sheep die set and I've also gone ahead and die cut four white clouds and two soft suede fence pieces using other dies in the set. The sentiment will be die cut using one of the stitched So Sweetly dies and it's the smallest one in this group. After die cutting I also added dimensionals onto the reverse of the sentiment. Now on my original card I left the clouds as is, but this time I'm going to add some texture using the Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder. So I'll just place each of these inside the folder and run it through my machine. And this is how they look. I almost forgot to die cut the sun I'm doing this from a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. My card base is in soft suede and this is half a standard sheet of card scored in the middle and folded to create a portrait card. 
Now for inside the card, I have a basic white mat, and I'm going to decorate the bottom of it with a strip of balmy blue, onto which I'm going to add some balmy blue designer series paper. Now this design is actually retired, but we still have the paper just with new designs. Then I have my stamped mat, and I'm going to layer that onto a balmy blue mat. And then I've got all the other elements that I've just created. Now my sheep is going to have an action wobbler on the back of it. You can get these in two sizes. Obviously the one on the right is much too big for my sheep, so I'm using a mini wobbler. And these were available um, all over really, but Amazon is a good starting point. Now, if you can't find these anywhere, it's very easy to make your own. Now, I'll leave a link at the top right of the screen under the eye to another video that shows you how to do that. The wobblers have adhesive on both ends. Now, one of the ends is a harder plastic and that's the end that is fixed onto your card. The other end is much more flexible and it's like a, an acetate and this is the side that gets attached to your image. All you need to do is peel off the backing and then position it on the image where you want it and give it a good press down. And that's my card complete. It's very quick and simple to create and super sweet. Now here's another look at my original card, just slightly different. I much prefer the embossed clouds to the plain ones. The backing mat I used for the original card was Pear Pizzazz. 
Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.